Are you someone who was looking forward to their work experience placement but kind of got screwed over by COVID-19? Well, this video is for you. COVID has turned on its head the exciting plans of many prospective medical students who want to spend time in wards, in theatres and in clinics and even in GP surgeries. And that's quite a bummer and I say that as someone who was convinced by my work experience that medicine was the career that I wanted to go into. For those of you who don't know me, hello and welcome to the channel, I'm a fourth year medical student and today I'm going to talk about what you can do to hopefully make up for the work experience that you missed out this summer. In this video I'm going to go through a few virtual workshops that you can attend and in a subsequent video I'll talk about a few really good reading materials that you can go through to hopefully help you pick up a few more reflections and possibly ideas that you may have gained if you'd actually been on work experience that you may not exactly gain from virtual workshops. Now before I even continue I just want to remind you that all medical schools this year are fully aware that the majority of students were not possible to get work experience. There may have been some of you who were able to do some work experience last year but similar to me I did the bulk of my work experience around three weeks of it the year I applied to med school. To comfort you further the majority of students competing for that medical school place that you are competing for, they will also have very little or practically no work experience. So what's important to understand is what you should try and gain from the virtual workshops as well as the reading that you'll be doing that I'll recommend in the next video. All medical schools, regardless of whether there's COVID or no COVID, require you to understand the following concepts. The roles, attributes and aspects of being a doctor, understanding patient-centered care, the key skills and the importance of their skills for being a good doctor, understanding and appreciating the roles of other people in the healthcare team, and lastly, gaining an appreciation for the NHS, its staff and the wider work that it does in the community. The point of work experience is to give you a good idea of what medicine involves. The fun, happy and enjoyable parts of medicine but also the challenges of medicine, but also the different people involved and the hard work they're putting in to sustain the National Health Service. The first opportunity that you should make use of is the Brighton and Sussex Medical School's virtual online work experience placement. They've managed to encapsulate different medical specialities and they kind of walk you through what it's like to be working in such speciality. They run through the daily routines of doctors, but also touch upon the challenges a doctor might face and the solutions that they will come up with to solve those challenges. The next placement that I suggest is actually quite a nice one. When I applied to medical school, I had no GP work experience. The Royal College of GPs has actually put together a pretty cool package that allows you to see what the role of a GP is, but also what the life of a GP is like. This course will really help you understand how a general practitioner really is the gateway to the NHS's services and how they're a centre of the community and how they're critical in ensuring patients see the right level of speciality care that they need to get better. Again, the link's in the description down below, so go out and watch that. Next up is a documentary which I think was on Channel 4 called 24 Hours in A&E. As far as I remember, it's a camera crew following a group of A&E doctors at St George's Hospital in Tooting, South London. Although it's not an official sort of work experience placement, I think this will help you better understand the variety of skills and qualities a doctor needs to make sure that they're looking after patients in the best way possible under high pressure scenarios. It's very fast paced and at times it gets quite graphic and at times sad as well. So it really highlights the different emotions that you might go through as a future emergency doctor. Talking about TV series, there was also a rather good one called The Life of a Junior Doctor. And I believe this was published by the BBC. Again, a very, very good insight into what life is like as a junior doctor who's practically graduated from university a year or two ago. And the wonderful thing about that TV series was that the junior doctors really do sit down at some points in the, in the TV show and reflect upon experiences that they had. And this is quite useful because as future doctors and people applying to medicine, you must get better at the art of reflection. Reflection is what will help you improve on your performance. Next up is a course made by a group of people called the King's Fund. And this course is called the NHS Explained. And this course will be really useful to help you better understand what the NHS is like. As someone who after medical school will work for the NHS, and as someone who should appreciate everything the NHS does, this course will allow you to better understand both the structure of the NHS, but also the people that work within the NHS. Understanding the challenges of running a large healthcare system that provides care that's free upon delivery. So all these things that I've mentioned will hopefully help you better appreciate what a role of doctor actually is like 
but also what the roles of other members of the healthcare team is like and how working together is what allows us to look after patients as well as possible. And now you have some experiences, although virtual and online, it's important you are able to pick out a few things that you saw. What medical schools will look for is how you reflect on a few situations that you may have seen in these online experiences. For example, let's take the 24 hours in A&E TV series I mentioned. Taking that as an example of possible work experience that you may have done, you could highlight on how you notice a scenario whereby a patient was having a heart attack and how the doctors were responding, how they worked as a team, highlighted particularly by excellent communication and fast action amongst the members to bring back the patient to a healthy state. You've got to really flesh out how such a situation made you feel like and what values you saw in medicine having seen that, but also why that made you want to be a doctor even more. More than the quantity of work experience that you do, it's the quality of reflections that is the most valuable part of it all. And lastly, many of you may be wondering whether your reflections will be unique because if everyone's watching these different uh, sort of TV series or online webinars or online work experience workshops, then surely everyone's going to mention the same sort of things they saw. You've got to realize that if you choose specific scenarios and reflect specifically about it, then your reflections and your experience are going to be very unique. And so even if others use the same example or same situations, then because you have your own personal spin on it, it won't be a problem at all. So hopefully this video has been useful. And as I said, again, check out the links in the description below to go and do these different opportunities and make the most of what you can do in these difficult circumstances. As always, I wish you the best of luck with applying to med school and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.